Ladies and gentlemen, you know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. We're over here at Fort Boonesboro in Kentucky. This place is amazing. This place is wild. This place is outstanding. It's a part of our history. That's right. It's a part of our history. So make sure you guys, if you haven't been to it or heard about it, um, just go ahead, stay along on this video and you're about to, you're about to you're about to have some fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a part of our history in America. <clears throat> so Fort Boonesboro is, uh, it's a fort that was uh, around during the Civil War. Um, yeah, this, it's huge. It's huge. There's so many buildings in here. Let's go and see what's inside this one, guys. Early whiskey in Kentucky. When early settlers arrived in what is now central Kentucky in the last half of the 18th century, one of their priorities was to get in a crop of corn. When enough corn had been raised to fill the needs of families, the excess became a commodity to be shipped out to markets, getting corn out of the hills. This is where people sleep, right? That's what a house would look like back then. Um, That's their bed right there. Oh, I wish I could. Their shoes. Fluffy. Touch. A good touch. A good boy. Section of cloth had been woven, the warp beam was unlocked, and the section of weaving was rolled in onto the cloth beam. The familiar Hey, who hasn't heard of Daniel Boone? I know everybody, everybody has heard of Daniel Boone. Look at all this Daniel Boone stuff. This is crazy. This fort is a wild man. Fluffy, you having a good time, huh? Yeah, you good boy. You gave him a little kiss, huh? Yeah, you good boy. Okay, say hi. production, uh, people were needed to make salt out of the frontier, and so, you know, they would oh, yeah, set up uh, boiling vats a lot like that, and they would need us so. You're way more new. There just so. so many needs, so many uses. Thank you. 
I, I so when this metal is glowing, it's a lot like tough clay. It becomes soft, oh, yeah. and I can form it. But oh, yeah. then as it cools down, it becomes oh, tough again, and I can't do as much with it. So I'm going to hit on it until, I, until it gets too cool. Yeah. And it's pretty much yeah. too cool. But I did get to the point that I need by focusing on those two sides, allowed me to draw it out. And on the ends and the tips of these, the S-hooks that I, I like to make, I like to give these little curls because they give a lot of character to the final product as well. The little curls that I'm doing. A lot of people have actually heard of those. And then this bending work I'm doing is, is, is scrolling work, just scrolling. And then later on when I make my bends the S's, I'm definitely going to be doing scroll work with the horn of the anvil too. The horn of the anvil is fun to work with. It makes such beautiful angles, these things, and for someone that's still learning like me, it makes, it gives me confidence boost. But if you have notes, I hear them. Look at that. They gave it to our family. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. We'll have to put that in the camper. Look at that, Mr. Fluffy Bear. We're not going to show everything here at Fort Boonesboro. Make sure you guys come on out to Fort Boonesboro in Kentucky. Have yourself a good old time. Enjoy it. This place is amazing. All right, everybody. I hope you guys had a great time. I know myself and the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. Give me a high five, buddy. Give me a high five. <laughs> See you later.